a very nice thing to happen at this point at Moon's main or something, just try and do a bit of damage. I'll take out some Moon Wells, maybe the Tree of Eternity if you can get it, but I think that might be a bit too ambitious. But it looks like um, Moon is dead, just going to be able to take down so many of these. And a Thu, actually now it looks like he's uh, really still very low in number, but he is now pushing into upkeep, building up two Arcane Sanctums. Really weird, weird late game choice. I guess it's uh, pretty low on number in terms of things, so uh, it will be uh, much more affordable for him, but at the same time, uh, Moon does have a lot of Dryads, and um, obviously he has a lot of Bears as well, and so obviously Slow going to be useful to an extent, but at the same time Chimera is just absolutely destroy them, so I think Breakers would be nice at this point, as I was saying, but I'm not sure sort of how useful uh, they could really ever be, considering Moon's really, really dominant army at this point. We're going to have to see whether or not um, Thu can really pull something out here. Meanwhile, Moon with a much nicer balance on his um, economy obviously hit lots of his wisps to stay alive, so even though he's uh, lost both his gold mines now, uh, he still has uh, lumber production, which is going to catch up to his uh, gold. And it looks like uh, Moon actually Moon could be really nifty and try and steal off this mine, just walking his uh, tree of life over uh, if he really, really wanted to, but I think it's probably um, sort of too risky for him at this point. Meanwhile, Thu just going to try and build up this army, go for sort of a last hurrah probably of oh, so so many tanks I think uh, Thu possibly overbuilt on them a bit but he's uh, what's he producing now getting um, mortar team upgrades but no mortar teams by the looks of things I'm surprised Thu's um, building or getting upgrades in this really late stage considering he's not going to have too much time to use them at this point uh, really really weird play here by Thu but that's basically what he's known for and uh, certainly he's a far greater player than I so uh, in the sense you have to assume that he knows what he's doing and uh, he's sort of playing against Moon, so he's certainly um, managed to survive this so this far, so he's certainly doing something right. But it looks like uh, Moon actually trying to focus down that Blood Mage, gets staffed away, and now he's going to go for that uh, Paladin, and this could be very bad for Thu, he could well lose his Paladin now. He does lose it, and uh, unfortunate, very, very unfortunate that for him. I guess the staff, um, the first staff used must have been uh, by the uh, Mount King, so um, he couldn't staff again when uh, the uh, free staff was on the Paladin, which is such a shame so annoying uh, to happen but at the same time very very nice um, play there by Moon very nice decision making as well and uh, Thu now he actually all game pretty much he's had a um, War Bonus Mountain King which is really not something you see very often and uh, Thu making this very nice counter attack I was talking about before just uh, bringing in a whole bunch of siege engines and just take them so long to take down uh, to be taken down it's just very very nice to try uh, even if um, you're not going to get the win off it, it's just a nice distraction and the uh, Chimeras meanwhile trying to take them down Chimeras obviously don't do too much to um, siege engines because siege engines are um, uh, fortified armor so uh, it's only 30% damage from uh, the magic attack of a uh, uh, Chimera, which is a bit of a shame, but Thu making the exact right choices here, taking out these Moon Wells, but you can see Moon using all the Moon Juice in them right before they go down, because it's better just to use it on anything than to have that Moon Juice wasted, and it looks like uh, Thu now going to try and take out some more on building, but he's not going to be able to take out pretty much anything else, and a couple um knights just scouting around here, uh, like of things, not going to be able to do too much, and I think we're going to have to see one last draw now from Thu, uh, really he's going to have to try and pull something amazing out of the hat, I wonder if his paladin is even coming back. Yes, he is. Uh, he's pretty close to coming back now. Thu was still actually a fair bit of um, gold and lumber in the bank. I'm a bit surprised he's managed to hold on this long. And uh, Thu, meanwhile, actually just trying to um, get out of here with and getting him bolt off. And actually, a nice bash and a bolt now on this warden. Warden needs to be very careful. Does have an involved pot if he needs it. Uh, but uh, if, uh, but actually, she does just eventually use her blink to get out of here. And actually, um, looks by, by the looks of things, she does have level three um, blink, even though she's level six. Uh, I guess that makes sense considering knights don't produce too many corpses and what's that level level five? They had level five after that paladin as well. Um really, really nice levels here for Moon and that could be what carries him through this game, even though Thu's gonna be producing a massive army now. I guess he's actually gonna be able to produce some mortar teams, so it does actually sort of make sense getting that mortar team upgrade. Yes he is there. And uh, knights and mortar teams and I wonder if he's gonna get anything else. No, just breakers. Uh, obviously, slow would be nice, but I think there's just too many dryads here at this point, and they're presumably all at full mana because they've had nothing to uh, dispel all game. So um, it'd be pretty tricky to actually get off any slows for any significant period of time. Meanwhile, Moon at um, 80 out of 70 food now, so unable to produce more units, but at the same time, probably was unlikely to anyways. And um, we'll have to rebuild one more Moon Wall if he wants to get up to 80 food again. Although, actually, considering he's not mining anymore, I think it'd be pretty nice for Moon to go to 100 food now. There's no reason not to, unless he wants to save some money in case he needs to buy back a hero or something. Uh, which certainly is a sensible thing to do, because if you lose your hero and it's so possible to against a combination uh, like a um, Mount King and sort of a and some high DPS units like um, Mortar Teams, it's a uh, 
so likely that Moon should save some uh, money back. But at the same time, he doesn't want to save so much money back that Thu can just push to 100 food now, steamroll um, Moon, and then that sort of GG. And obviously, Moon probably has a good idea of the size of um, army that Thu's capable of producing, but doesn't know 100%. And meanwhile, a nice attack coming in here by Thu, who does have 3 1 upgrades on his breakers and a 2 2 on his mortars. And so that's um, pretty nice upgrades, although obviously, Moon has 3 3 at this point because it's so e much easier for an elf to upgrade if he's just going for um, lore and Ancient of Wind units and um, Chimera Roost as well. Obviously they all just come as a package deal which is so nice uh, where it looks like a Moon Meanwhile getting um, again bolted and a Mana Siphon there but eventually getting his Warden out of there and they're going to be continuing to chase down um, this um, Blood Mage by the looks of things getting a Shadow Strike off there and a Shadow Strike actually um, going to be doing a whole lot of damage. Level 3 Shadow Strike is very nice, but oh my god, Moon needs to be so careful using a staff in the last second there. Very, very nice there. One um, bolt really do does a whole bunch of damage once your um, Mount King gets to a high enough level. Mount King, meanwhile, being silenced, and the Thu again on the defensive now. I think he got enough of his units out that they c he can continue to fight here, but this might be a critical battle now. I think Thu really needs to win this. He doesn't have much gold left in the bank, and so if he can't really take the win here, oh, Panda Gang very, very low. Really needs to be careful now. Moon really needs to keep this Panda alive. Nice staff by that Warden coming at the last second. Oh my god, and that Warden just being so cocky. Meanwhile, the Paladin going down to very low health. Warden actually being very low as well, but using an involved pot, and it uh, looks like I see this Dark Ranger could be focused down now, but I think Thu just has lost too much in terms of our army. He went sort of for, for the glory of it because he knew he couldn't win it just by focusing down units. He had to focus down the heroes, but Moon's tremendous micro meant that I don't think he really managed to get as much damage done as he wanted to. And that amazing, I'd like to say it was luck, but obviously it was just tremendous skill on Moon's part, bringing in that um, Warden at the last second to get the um, staff out of there. Obviously, Warden has such mobility with Blink, just so, so nice. And it looks like Moon actually um, taking a lot of damage here through doing some pretty nice control with his breakers, but at the same time, Moon does have his, all his heroes left, and those heroes are very, very high level and it looks like a moon will be able just to do all the damage you need to we know more mana siphon coming off here bolt being used on a chimera but it's being staffed away as well staff so such a low cooldown it's always amazing me and it looks like she all of moons here are Oh, two of Moon's heroes at least are very lucky, but oh my god, that Paladin staff was so nice, but there's the GG, oh my god, what a tremendous, tremendous game, so, so well played by both sides, so you really can't feel too bad about losing that game, what a tremendous, tremendous game, I'll bring you guys another game tomorrow, hopefully, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, thanks.